Tom, we need to get to our next gig. We're doing this for you and our lovely saga. If you take care of our things on this side. Don't screw it up, Tom! I'd seen it all play out. Like a horror movie I'd been forced to watch. The Dark Presence held all the cards now. Welcome back, Wake. You are awake now, right? With the shadow out of you? Some good news, at least. Bad news is, I haven't seen a situation this fucked since the AWE in Eagle River. The shadow's now in Alex, and Anderson is gone. We need to figure out how to salvage this. I'll do anything it takes to fix this, Agent Estevez. I'm the reason this is all happening. It's never that simple. But I should have put you in a box and shipped you off to a containment facility the second I laid eyes on you. The only question now is... Are you able to fix this? I can try. Not the most encouraging answer, but we'll make it work. Scratch. The dark presence inside Casey. It threw Saga into the lake. If she ends up in the dark place, she could be there forever. It took me 13 years to get out. Zane never did. Tor and Odin went in after her, right? Maybe they'll get her out. With the power of rock and roll. I saw them when I was trapped there. They performed in my musical. I'm immediately less optimistic about this. What's the situation? I've never seen an entity break a bureau containment unit like that. And now the Dark Presence is occupying Agent Casey? When it attacked him in the woods, it must have been preparing for this. And now he is the clicker. Scratch will go to Bright Falls and use the clicker to bring about the horrific ending he wrote for Return. But I can still fix this. How? Scratch must have the manuscript. If I can read the ending, I can rewrite it. I need to go after him. Well, you won't get very far without these. This plan is a real Hail Mary wake. I wish I could help, but this is all on you. I got you every kind of weapon we have available. Don't fuck it up. I needed a car. The FBI vehicle would be at the parking lot. I was awake again, clear-headed for the first time in what felt like a lifetime. I was back exactly where I left. A dark forest outside Bright Falls. A gun in one hand, a flashlight in the other. Haunted by my own writing. Alice taken from me. I knew what I had to do. Stop the horror story from coming true. Stop the dark presence.
The dark presence went into me. When I was pulled back here, crossing over weakened it, made it dormant. I couldn't remember what had happened, but I could feel it getting stronger, waking up. I thought it was haunting me, closing in. It was inside me the whole time, and then it took over, turned me into scratch. I had to get to Bright Falls, see this through to the end. I brought Saga Anderson into this story to help me escape. She succeeded. It cost her everything. I'd used Alex Casey in my writing for years. The real Casey had been drawn here because of that. Now he was a victim too. Saga, Casey, Alice, all this horror originates from me. It's my fault. Scratch had to be stopped. I've driven down this road before. Been driving on it forever. If Scratch had brought the dark place here, this would take me back inside. In 2010, I had dived in, a leap of faith for Alice, with no idea that the cost would be a nightmare worse than death. It had taken me 13 years to get out. Now Alice was dead because of me. And I was gonna make that leap again, this time knowing the cost all too well. the dark place here with me. I never had gotten out. Maybe after this I finally could. It was a fool's hope. I had no choice. I had to do it. That didn't make me any less terrified.
This is not what I expected. windows of the writer's room in the photo. That's where I had to go. To rewrite the ending of Return. Sick, sick story! room to stop this horror story. This was an obsessive, egocentric nightmare, all revolving around a vain monster of a writer and his final divine work of art. The novel returned come true. It wouldn't stop here. It would keep spreading. to find another way inside. What was that? Alice was dead. Was this a trap? Or was Scratch torturing me?
but he's very pushy. Rose, right? From the diner. How are you here? <laughs> I'm here to save you, silly. I got your instructions. I found every hidden message you left for me. In the radio, in the wind, in the forums on my Alan Wake fan site. What? No, Rose, I haven't been leaving you any messages. Oh, I get it. Yes, Alan, only a crazy person would think you've been leaving them secret messages. <laughs> Wink. But now you need to get your butt upstairs, Alan. This shit won't write itself, no matter what William Shakespeare said. Right. Thank you, Rose. I'll do what I can. Upstairs. The writer's room must be in the attic. That's where the windows were. We loop around and come to Keter, Tom. I have put everything ready for the visitors. I'll come to wash the floor of your room next. All you need is water and Vileda. Water is the oldest pulp. Water finds its way. What water brings, it takes away. It can be clean or dirty. It can keep life or drowned. Akti. I didn't expect to see you here, but it makes sense. Can you help me find my way? One last time. Mm, now there's a devil in the fish trap. Don't be spooked by it so that shit won't start beating your underpants. Okay. I'll get the door open for you, Tom. There you go. The matter is a stake. Now. I was here. I needed to write the ending. I only had one chance to get this right. Return's ending was an eternal deer fest that would keep spreading. Given time, Scratch would plunge the world into his nightmare. I had to stop that from happening. I had to write one more chapter for Return. I needed an ending that took everything already in Return and extended it into a conclusion that would save us. Only the perfect ending would work. A perfect ending that would save us all. I was the only one who could write it. Everything depended on this. On me. Any second now, Scratch would burst through that door to stop me. Every plot thread dangled in my brain. It suddenly felt impossible. Something stirred in the room, coming to me. An idea. The ending has to fit the genre if it's going to work. In a horror story, there's only victims and monsters. If there is a hero, they will ultimately pay a heavy price. I won't let the horror story take Logan and Casey. They were dragged into this. They need to survive. Non-negotiable. Not just them. We need to try to save everyone. The ending will have to be dark no matter what. The more people we save, the greater the cost. And the hero must pay the price. The scales always need to balance. Something felt different. I'd never seen myself in a vision before. But it fit. Saga and I were both at the center of this story. She was now my co-author. This was the beginning of the end. We were characters in a horror story, charging blindly towards the finale. 
We still didn't have everything we needed. This would not work without the clicker. What's going on? Am I in the field office? No. It's the mine place. I can't sense anyone. My work. It's all gone. What the hell is happening? Where is everything? Nothing's working. I can't think straight. I can't leave. Why can't I leave? The Dark Presence took over Casey, stole the clicker from me. The last thing I remember is him throwing me into Cauldron Lake. I'm in the dark place. I'm lost. I don't know how to get out. I don't know what to do. That wasn't me. Was it? What? Failed who? What's happening to the case board? The board says I failed them. Who's them? I let everyone down. Logan, Casey, myself. This is my fault. My daughter is dead. My partner was taken over by a monster. I'm trapped in a dark place. Powerless. I'm not powerless. What is happening here? This isn't me. Casey. Casey depended on me. And I let him down. I wasn't watching his back. I got wrapped up chasing the wrong lead. He needed me. Now he's turned into a monster. He needed me. Logan. I neglected my family for my job. I was too thrilled by the cases. The mysteries. I liked how dangerous the work was. And now that danger has destroyed my family. It killed my daughter. No. I'm a failure. This is what I deserve. Something's very fucking wrong here. Story. My life, my family is just part of a book. Another white asshole deciding what I get to do, how I get to do it. He took my daughter from me. I'll never be free of this story from him. He used her. I let my daughter die. She's not dead. God damn it.
I'm done with this. It just keeps coming back. He's using Casey now, like he used Wake. Why is this happening? Night Springs. Logan and David love that show. Their weekly ritual. I never should have trusted these. Casey was being corrupted and I did nothing. Scratch was wake. How could I miss that? This case, this room, is any of it even real? Casey was hurt. I should have been watching his back. What? Wait, what? It feels like I'm trapped in a nightmare. Stuck in an echo chamber with all my fears, my doubts, my insecurities. What's happening to me? Too much time away from Logan. Logan. The horror story used her. I've had it with you, cultist maniac. I never should have left Casey at the hotel by himself. The cult was just the beginning of the spiral. It was so obvious the Coscula brothers were behind the cult. I hate this, but it's all true. I had tried to silence these thoughts, focus on the case, but I can't escape them anymore. I'm drowning. I need a way out before I'm dragged under. I can't do this! No. There has to be a way out. I need a way out. None of this is real. I've lost it. I'm not even here. The mind place isn't real. A case about supernatural darkness. I'm having a full-on psychotic break. 
I drag Logan away to a tin can in watery. She's dead because of me. There has to be a way out. I need a way out. It's over. There is no point trying. Everything is lost. There is no way out. No way to fix this. There's no way out. I'm stuck here forever. Just me and my past. My guilt. My mistakes. I'm not getting anywhere. I'm stuck. But this is my mind place. My mind. Everything I need is here. It, it has to be. Oh! The lights! No. No. I'm not giving up. Focus, Saga. The answers I need are here somewhere. I just have to look. No. I'm not reading anymore. Never should have taken this case. Scratch was too much for us. I should have made KC stay behind. Too much. Too much. So, so, thanks for pulling me out. out. You're really You're the best, really best mom. Really. really. Okay. okay. Talk, Talk soon. soon. No. This is all real. I know it is. The FBI will kick me out. I'll have nothing. I can't do this! agency must agency continue must to improve. improve. The work the we work do we here, do here protecting, protecting communities, communities, pursuing the truth, the truth. It's, the it's the most important, important work, work there is. There is. I saw this online and it made me think of you. Okay, okay what are you what doing? Are you doing? Don't make a big deal out of it, Mom! No hugs! No hugs! Anderson, uh, look, look. After Brand left, it was, uh, well, I was in a bad place. You dragging me to those dinners at your house with your family, it really, uh, Meant a lot. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, Mom. Hey, Mom. I made you a charm bracelet for good luck. Good luck. I made a matching one for me, so, so bring me back something cool from Washington. Washington.
yourself, Anderson. A knife in the arm is just part of the job. If you're gonna keep fussing, you can get the hell out. Look, Dad, leave the whiskey. Logan isn't anyone's plot device. She's my daughter. And she's not dead. Dead! She's dead! I didn't save her. Casey trusts me. I know he does. I'll just let him... It's not too late. I can still save them. No matter what I do, someone will get hurt. I don't know what to do. I'm afraid. I'm my own worst enemy. The fears in my head are stopping me from trying. From leaving. I can't let this place make me question myself. I know what I'm doing. It's okay to be afraid. But I can't let this end here. I can't, I can't, I can't! I just... I just want it to stop! Giving up won't make this stop. Logan needs me. Casey needs me. I've made mistakes. I'll make more. But I can do better. And I can start by leaving this room. I'm afraid it will hurt, but nothing will hurt more than not trying to save them. It will hurt, but I will fight. The Dark Place tried to trap me here. The only way to leave is facing it head on. Wake called it a nightmare. I need to dive into that nightmare, and find a way back home. Phone was ringing. Somehow I knew the call was ringing.